Soup. So many varieties to choose from. This one is hot, that one is cold, savory, sweet, chunky, smooth, each a staple in every diet in every country around the world throughout the history of man, each an enigma. Such complexity and depth of flavor must require days of brewing and knowledge of arcane, mystical hearts. Surely such a versatile dish takes more than just vegetables and water, right? Right? Ingredient, uh, vegetables. Soups are a great way to explore the many wonderful flavors and textures of an assortment of vegetables which are usually assigned only supporting roles to protein, carbohydrates, and fat. For this, you want to get the freshest looking, smelling, feeling, tasting produce you can get your hands on. They are the stars of the show now, so make sure not to settle for inferior stock. Nothing but the best. Butternut squash. Ah, the headliner. It's seasonal, so the best specimens will be available in the autumn and winter, and not in the summer when I'm shooting this thing. One serving is about half a squash, and I'm feeding about four people, so... 19, no, two squashes shall suffice. Onion, celery, carrot. A combination of aromatic vegetables that is also known as... mirepoix. We want about a quarter pound of each vegetable per serving, so I'm going with a pound of each. Make sure they are all firm, crisp, and clean. Leeks. Pretty much just really, really, really big green onions. They should be bright, fragrant, and sturdy. All you'll need is one. Time. No! Time. Just get a bunch. Stock. While you could just use water, laziness ain't too delicious. So let's switch to some stock. Chicken, beef, or pork stock are all decent contenders, but let's stick with the vegetable motif for this one. You'll want just enough to cover all of your vegetables. No, don't just throw everything into a pot. We have to cut it first. Yeah, the cut list. The squash gets cut in twain, our leek gets sliced, our thyme gets de-stemmed, and our onion, celery, carrots get diced down too. Uh, frankly, the exact size doesn't matter as much as uniformity. One tip for this cutting, start by making everything around square. A successful soup depends on all of our vegetables cooking evenly at the same time. So concentrate on cutting your mirepoix to the same size, even if that means they are a little bit bigger. Uniformity also means that there will be parts of each of your vegetables that are unusable. Carrot peel, onion skin, celery top, leek leaf, thyme stem. We can't afford scraps in our A-team pot. Put them in that pot over there marked bad soup pot. Nothing but the best. Big that butternut. Drizzle with some olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and roast that squash in a 400 degree oven until it is soft, about 40 minutes or so. Sweat it out. Put your A-team pot on medium-low heat with some fat in it. Olive, canola, and avocado oil are all good, as is the mighty butter. Pour in the mirepoix, a big pinch of salt, and let it go. But remember, we are not sautéing these. Sautéing means frying quickly with an emphasis on browning. We don't want brown. We just want to cook the liquid out of the veggies to help intensify their flavors. Keep things moving constantly for about 10 to 15 minutes. Stock it. Squash it. Add the stock and let things cook for five minutes or so. And then add the squash and the leeks and let things cook for five minutes or so. The mini must become one. It's time to make this chunky heap of softened produce into something more cohesive and appetizing, which requires blending. If using a standing blender, wait for everything to cool down a bit and then go at it. But if you have an immersion blender, <laughs> well... Once entirely smooth, give it a taste, add the thyme and some salt and pepper, put it back on the stove to simmer for 20 minutes, and then it's time for the money shot. Oh, yeah! But wait, there's more! This soup is so easy to adjust! Like something spicy? Add some cayenne pepper. Like something more mellow? Use cinnamon and nutmeg. Like it chunky? Don't blend it. Like it thicker? Add less stock. You can use mushrooms or beans or try different herbs other than thyme. You can also add some toasted pecans to the top. Or something fancy like basil aioli. 
or even just a bit of heavy cream or butter. The more you experiment, the more you will see that with all the varied outcomes that are possible, it's a little hard to do it wrong. Cook well, eat well, live well. <laughs>